Hi everyone, this is Dr. Kim, America's Holistic Foot Doctor. In this video, you'll meet my patient who just had a stroke for the second time. He has many challenges, but the most challenging is the fact that he can't go out fishing any longer. Let's see how I can cut his thick, painful nails. Okay, we have Gerald here. Gerald, how are you doing? Okay. I haven't seen you in a long time, right? Years. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, so any of these nails bothering you? Are they painful? No. No, okay, good. So tell, tell me, I heard you had a, had a stroke, huh? Yeah. Tell me about that experience. Well, I didn't. I woke up in the hospital. Uh-huh. <laughs> And then what happened? Well, I was laying in a hospital bed and somebody came and stood next to me. Uh -huh. I looked up and it was a pastor of a church. Uh -huh. And they were asking if he came to give me my last rites. <laughs> oh, really? Wow, that's kind of that scary. A good guy. No, he didn't. No? That's, it was, it's a joke? Just a joke. Oh, okay. Well, I can't tell. Gerald's, Gerald's a... a Man, a man, a full of jokes, right? Yeah. Yeah. So it's hard to tell sometimes, because we're we we're talking about a pretty serious topic of stroke, oh, yeah. <laughs> right? Make the best of it. Yeah. So what happened after that? You have to go through a lot of rehab. Rehab is right now. We're not. The other guy that was in here is. A, He's a caregiver. Yeah. Oh, he's a caregiver. Oh, I see. Yeah, he helps me get dressed. Mm -hmm. Take a shower. Yeah. He doesn't look like a caregiver. He looks like a movie director. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know who he was. Oh. Okay, so he he helps you all the time. Yeah. Okay, and then... So since the stroke, what happened? So what, did you lose some function of one side or what, what happened? Hearing in the left ear, so the... Oh, the, just the hearing? Well, he's, as you can tell, he still walks and talks. Yeah. You, you, look, pretty, you look pretty good, mm -hmm. Gerald. We're having a stroke. Yeah. So they, they have you on a blood thinner, right? Yeah. And then what else? Plavix and aspirin. Uh-huh. And then you had stroke, was it, was it a couple years ago, was it? Right? Mm -hmm. When did you have it? Do you remember? Remember when you had the stroke? No. Okay. Oh, okay. I was told that you had it two years ago. Yeah, Diane heard a big crash and saw me laying on the, in the kitchen on the ground and called the 911. Yeah. Did they come pretty quickly? This is yeah, during yeah, pandemic. Right there. Really? Wow. Impressive. We, we've had good responses, like three to five minutes. Really? Wow. Yeah. And then which hospital did you go? Yeah. Los Alamitos. Los Alamitos, okay. And you're, you're pretty close to the hospital? Oh, yeah. A mile and a half away. Oh, thank God, huh? Yeah. Wow. And the rehab was at Memorial. Oh, really? Oh. They don't have rehab there? Hmm. Los Al doesn't. Huh? Memorial they don't, is a very good rehab. Yeah, they, they do have a very really good rehab program there. But they don't they don't have one in Los Angeles? Yeah. Oh. Well, not in the hospital. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, before I had a stroke and all that, I'd go two or three times a year on a long-range fishing trip. Mm -hmm. And uh, I miss that, but I don't have the strength for it. Oh. And, and you don't want to fall over when you're on a boat. No. <laughs> yeah, and then... Oh. And then if you if you catch a big one, then oh yeah, you may get sucked into the ocean. Out of, uh, <laughs> out of San Diego, a thousand miles down. So what what were you catching before? Uh, well, my biggest one's yellowfin tuna. Uh, close to how, how big? Two hundred sixty pounds is your world record. Oh really? Yeah. Wow. So when did that happen? Yeah, my last trip down there. I caught nine yellowfin tuna 
and every one of them was over 100 pounds. Really? Yeah. Wow. So you're you're a good fisherman. Yeah. Wow. Boy, do I have some neighbors that like me. <laughs> really? You know, I. You know, I would I would have done a really good uh, sashimi mm -hmm. when that happened. Yeah. <laughs> you guys do that? Yeah. You guys yeah. cook it or you guys eat raw? Some of, some of the people we give the fish to do sashimi. Not, yeah. Not many. But. One or two. Yeah, those tuna would be excellent mm -hmm. sushi or sashimi. Okay, so you you miss doing that, huh? Yeah. Wow. Or you can't go anymore. Maybe we can just yeah, go to the. Diane would have me call when the boat got back to San Diego. Uh -huh. She asked, "Did I have a good trip and all that stuff in there? You got to process the fish, too. Take it to a professional in there, and they'll clean it, mm -hmm. vacuum pack it. Oh, I see. And all of that stuff. Oh. And it takes a, a while in there. And there's one guy." Diana had asked me, what time are you going to be home? And I said, I don't know, uh, 1 o'clock or something like that. Mm -hmm. And then uh, this guy would be waiting there at my house. <laughs> I sent out an email to a whole oh, lot yeah. of people saying, Gerald will be home, come and pick up some fish between 1 o'clock. Really? And wow. And we'd have a backyard fish party. Oh, my God. <laughs> Too bad I wasn't on that list. Yeah. Because that's what I would have done, gone some of that and... I eat, I eat <clears throat> sushi or sashimi every week, so that's, that would have been a big party day for me. Now, what Gerald did is he gave away his fishing rods and reels to a couple of friends from JPL, and they go fishing and bring us the fish. No, oh, really? And that... we can give some of it away. Oh, no. So we'll keep you in mind. Yeah, keep, keep, keep my name on your list. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Last time they brought us some bluefin tuna. Yeah. Really? Oh, wow. Yeah. Where, where are they going? Locally here? Oh, yeah. Bluefin is really good. Yeah, mm. one, they, one guy went out of Dana Point one time. I think that's where he caught them. Wow. Yeah, that's... we were coming back from a thousand miles down, and Skipper came down and told us, he said he just talked to an airplane that flew over 15 miles of bluefin tuna. Oh, really? Down, way down there by, uh, you know, that's probably 900 miles down south of San Diego. Oh, wow. Amazing. I don't think they're still around. Oh, yeah, they, they must be. Yeah. yeah. I'm giving them a break by not going out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, so, exactly. There are more, more, more fish on the ocean since you're not doing it. I think some of my grandsons always take them in the Uh huh. They do really well. Oh, they like fishing? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They love it. They like being out with Yeah. Only problem with me is I get seasick. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's very bad. I have, I have, yeah, when you get seasick, you're, you're hurt so bad, you think you're going to die, and after a while, you think you're not going to die, you're going to have to put up with it. No, I, that's all I was thinking about it, coming back to the uh, to the to the to the land. Uh, I went a few times to you know. I got the pills and I got the patches, you know. Oh, yeah. But nothing worked yeah, for me. The patches are too large for me. Oh really? And, uh, I usually take paraben, uh, or something the night before the trip get it into your system. Uh-huh. And then be careful uh, what you eat. Bro, don't eat too much, I mean? No. Like, what are, you, what are you not supposed to eat? Well, something that you eat a little bit by death. Oh, I see. Oh, nothing too heavy, huh? Yeah. 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 I went on a boat trip about three times and I got sick all three oh, times. Yeah. Yeah, so that's a... Uh, 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 I think we're working on a trip. She got sick. And and no, it was horrible. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's like the worst trip of my life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah you, 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 
It's me again. Hope you've been enjoying this video so far. If you have, leave the word fishing in the comments below and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. No, and then my, my, my son and his friends caught a huge tuna, mm -hmm. but they were all celebrating and I was in the corner by myself, miserable. No, he's 13 now. 13. Well, you remember, huh? Oh, yeah. Yeah. I remember when he was born. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too, I remember that too. Yeah. Yeah. So, so Gerald, what, so what's, uh, what's challenging these days? What is your, what is your challenge uh, daily? Is there any other challenges? I mean, you need help and everything, right? Yeah. I was telling Diane about the oxygen tank that we have. You know the hyperbaric oxygen tank? You know what they do? Hyperbaric oxygen treatment. You know what that does? It infuses uh, oxygen to your brain to really help. Actually, a lot of people get tremendously better. Yeah, because it pressurizes oxygen where It pressurizes where it gets the oxygen into the smallest, tiniest vessels in your brain. Yeah, that's something to consider if you want to improve some of your, you know, issues. Yeah. I said just about everybody needs it. I have a tank at home. I do it four times a week. Yeah. It, uh, huh? Yes. Everything. I had a back injury that I had a burning uh, nerve pain. He got rid of it in one year. Yeah. It regenerated the uh, the nerves. So he can do amazing things actually. Very impressive. So something to consider. Yeah. You should go check it out. Yeah. And then we moved upstairs for a while, and now we moved back down. Yeah, we were too separated, you know. We got a lot bigger space upstairs, but we're kind of separated, you know. So now we're kind of together, I feel like. Uh-huh. fish and all that and then uh, at the end of the trip his dad came over and uh, he said that uh, you know thanking me up one side and down the other he said that he and his wife were having a divorce and taking his kid out to spend some good time with him in that oh. I'm happy about it oh wow it, it was, uh, had I known that, I had handed off one to him too. Oh yeah. So it helps with divorces too, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Fishing solves a lot of problems, huh? Oh yeah. Yeah. I know. I wish I can go more often if I don't get sick, you know. I, I'm... We got into uh, some bluefin tuna one time up here, and uh, I had a 14 of them off the other guys that couldn't get there. Really? All the fish were 
Really? Yeah, you know, that, that's one thing I'm not quite sure, you know. All, all the other skills is like, if you're a good fisherman, what does that mean? How do you, I mean, how do you become a good fisherman? Like, do you know, you know, where, where the... We gotta be patient. <laughs> we gotta be patient, well, then, then good thing I'm, I have seasickness, because uh, oh, yeah. that's what I don't have. No patience, so I'm, I'm gonna be a bad fisherman then, right? <laughs> so unless you have, so is that the only qualification? A lot of patience and then you catch all the fish? Is yeah. that what happened? I can't read in a car before my trip when I was sitting in the back seat of the car trying to read a book. Uh -huh. Then I would get sick. Uh huh. And a couple times on airplane flights, uh, it would be, you know, I'm flying in an airplane, you can't put your head off a little bit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah. So, okay, the patience and what else? Yeah. You have to know where the fish is or what? Fish? Yeah, right. I mean, do, do you study the how the water flows and all that or what? Oh, yeah. oh really? Oh. Oh, the, so the captain has to know where the... Oh, yeah. Oh, okay. okay. So they, they say... Uh -huh. But the captain knows where the. Oh, they get uh, uh, you know, they get sonar. So what? What does the sonar do? Yeah. They can tell where the fish are. Yeah, yeah. Really, like. So it's really important to have a really good captain, then, huh? You don't know what kind of fish there, what, oh, yeah, what area? Oh. See, I didn't know all this. Too bad I can't go. <laughs> no. I know. I need something that don't require a lot of patience. How's that? <laughs> all right. Looking better? What do you think? Well, How do you maybe, like it? Maybe if my friends get successful on their next trip, and they bring me some fish. Maybe go ahead and bring some over to you. Yeah, you call me, okay? I'll be right there. Yeah. Well, since I can't go fish, fishing, yeah. but I but I I like eating fish. So there you have it. Oh yeah, the bluefin tuna is very good. Oh yeah, yeah. very good. Okay, what do you think? All right, looking yeah. better. Yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you for allowing us to film you today, Gerald. Oh, well, thanks for having me. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. As you can see in this video, having a stroke is very challenging for the patient and the family. However, the most challenging part is the fact that he misses fishing so much. We talked about many benefits of fishing and qualification of a good fisherman. I was just glad because I get seasick and not able to go fishing because I don't have the most important qualification of a good fisherman called patience. I hope you do. Until then, be educated, get empowered, encourage others today.